Thanks so much. I've been doing this a really long time. In fact, I've owned my own small business for over 25 years. Thanks. And you know, the thing that's funny about that is 25 years ago, when I'd say, yes, I started my own business, that was code for, no, you can't find a job. And I'm so thrilled that that dynamic has changed. And now one of the coolest things that you can do is to start your own business. But I've learned over the years that really one of the secrets to success in business and maybe life in general is to meet or occasionally exceed people's expectations. So I want to start by lowering yours. I believe that each and every one of us possesses the power to change the world through the choices that we make every single day. And here's the part where I lower your expectations. I have absolutely no idea what those choices are for you. In fact, the title of this presentation Make good choices. If that sounds a little bit like advice that a father might give to a teenage daughter as they were going out with their friends, it's because that's exactly what it is. <laughs> my wife and I have four daughters. So, Michael, you, you uh, mentioned uh, you had five under 10. At one point, we had four under six. And I also visited with an actuary. And unfortunately, he couldn't tell me how long I was going to live, but he did say with some degree of certainty that I was going to spend 2.63 years of my life living in a house with four teenage girls. <laughs> and so, as they were growing up, I developed a little habit as they started to go out with their friends that you know, they'd come up, they'd drive up to pick them up or something, I'd lean out the door, make good choices. And, and, and the initial affect was really just to embarrass them. You know, it's, I mean, part of my job. But over time, they started to expect it. And then their friends would actually say it sometimes before I could even get it out of my mouth. And then they went off to college. MGC, smiley face. And then they started to give me gifts. I have an iPhone case. I have a guitar pick that says, make good choices. And really, in my work, it kind of dawned on me that this idea of daily choices is something much, much larger. I think one of the things that really drags us down is that we somehow see other people achieving things. And it's amazing. Even in this room, full of what I would call truth-seeking revolutionaries, experience tells me that some of you feel like you're failing. Some of you feel like you haven't even found that dream that you can go chase. And then, of course, you talk to attendees here, and you hear some speakers tell amazing stories. And it's like, well, I haven't cured any diseases. <laughs> you know, I haven't dug any wells in Africa in months. <laughs> you know, I've only been to 20 countries. I suck. And I work with entrepreneurs all the time. And I can tell you, I could bring a, a room of 100 of them together. And they could tell their stories, and you would listen to them, and you would say, I want their life. And then I would poll half of them. And half of them would tell you, yes, I'm rocking it. I'm truly fulfilled. It's amazing. And the other half would tell you they feel like failures. Now, how is this possible? And I think it has a lot to do was something that I call the horizon effect. I think a lot of us create, particularly entrepreneurs, create these big dreams 
and these big goals for ourselves, and we set them out in the distance, and then we start moving towards them one step at a time. And unfortunately, as we move one step forward, the destination moves one step farther away. 